going to do is give it uh, a coat of paint with pure white to start with a nice white base. Uh, before you do that, it's just important to remember to give your piece a wipe down. I've done this already. So get some warm water and a cloth and just wipe it down to get rid of some of the dust and some of the other gunk that might be on there. So I've got my, uh, my Annie Sloan chalk paint here and I'm going to use my, my small Annie Sloan brush and I'm just going to give everything a nice coat of pure white. I'm sure I'm going to have to do two coats because pure white just doesn't cover as much because it only has white pigment in it. So we'll need to do two coats, but that's all right. I'm going to paint this in one direction because when I go to do my color wash, I find that it works better if I've done the painting in one direction. Texture is okay. I don't need to smooth it out or use water for this, but I do want to just go in that one direction. I find it gives you more consistency when you do a second color washed on top. I'm just going to really push into those details because I want everything completely covered up so that I have my pure white base on there. As I mentioned earlier, this is going to be in a Gustavian style by the end. So Gustavian style originated in Sweden in the late 18th century and it was really defined by a lot of whites, greys, pastels, creams. They also used uh, gilding a lot, mirrors, crystal, that sort of thing. And although this table isn't a Gustavian table, it's going to work really nicely because it has a lot of ornate details and curves, so it will really work well with the overall style. A little tip when you're painting details like this is, of course, you want to stab in and get into, into the details, but you also want to make sure that you don't have big clumps of paint hanging out in those details. So I just like to go over it with my brush, pushing into the details, and at the end just give it a swoop over those details because the brush will sort of take off some of that extra paint that's pooling in there. So one other thing that I just wanted to mention is there's some 
rings here. Uh, there was another one that I've already covered up here that was darker, but there's some rings from somebody leaving a hot mug on there. These will cover up fine with chalk paint. You don't need to do anything to them. You can just paint straight over them. So I'm just going to finish painting and then let it dry and come back and do a second coat on it.